I am Ravi Vishweshwaraya Sharada Prasad. A huge controversy has broken out over the renowned uh, Bharatanatyam dancer, uh, Zakir Hussain, being physically thrown out of the ancient Sri Ranganatha Swami temple at Sri Rangam on the grounds uh, that he was a Muslim. It was not the temple authorities who threw out Zakir Hussain, but a self-appointed activist uh, named Rangarajan Narasimhan, who does not um, hold any official position in the temple management. Uh, Zakir Hussain has performed Bharatanatyam numerous times at the Sri Ranganatha Swami temple and its management said he was always welcome there. The legendary uh, Nadaswaram player Sheikh Chinnamaula often performed uh, there at this temple and uh, the renowned classical musician and social activist uh, T.M. Krishna, he tweeted um, deeply disturbed about the ill treatment of dancer Zakir Hussain when he went to have darshanam of Ranganatha at Sri Rangam. Action needs to be taken against the person. Let's not forget Sri Rangam is an example of syncretic bhakti with a special place given to Tuluka Nachiyar. In this video, I will describe why the granddaughter of Alauddin Khilji, Bibi Nanchari Amma, is worshipped at the Sri Ranganatha Swami temple as the consort of Lord Venkateshwara Balaji. Uh, and there is also a family connection of mine from my mother's um, family. Uh, Bibi uh, Nanchari Amma is uh, called Tuluka Nachiyar in uh, Tamil. And Bibi Nanchari Amma's Samadhi is at the Chella Pillaraya Temple in Melkote in Karnataka where she is worshipped along with uh, Lord Venkateshwara Balaji. Further, there is an idol of Bibi Nanchari Amma in Tirumalai and a Darga devoted uh, to her in Kadappa. Devotees are first supposed to pray at this Darga in Kadappa before they go to Tirupati. Alauddin Khilji was the ruler of uh, Delhi from 1296 AD to 1316 AD and uh, Alauddin Khilji had a competent general called Malik Kafur. Malik Kafur was a Brahmin who had been converted to Islam and castrated also and he had all the fanaticism of a, a new convert and Malik Kafur led several invasions of um, South India between 1309 AD and 1315 AD. Uh, Malik Kafur defeated the Kakatiyas uh, that's in present day Varangal in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, he defeated the Hoysalas of um, present-day Karnataka, and he also defeated the uh, Pandyas of uh, present-day uh, uh, Tamil Nadu. And since temples were the repository of uh, uh, wealth, his army looted several temples and brought back the wealth to the Hilji Sultan in uh, Delhi. 
and uh, to digress a little, uh, my father's uh, community of uh, Mulkunada Samartha Brahmins uh, traces its origins to the invasions of Malik Kafur uh, with all the fanaticism of a new convert to Islam. Malik Kafur would order Brahmins um, uh, to convert to Islam or be expelled or be killed. And the Telugu speaking Mulkunadu Brahmins, uh, followers of um, Adi Shankaracharya, migrated to what are uh, present day Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. And the community name is for those who migrated from Mulk, uh, Mulk is the Arabic word for country, to Nadu. Nadu is the Dravidian or Tamil uh, word for country. And the origins of the Mulukunadu Brahmins uh, prior to the invasion of Malikafur are not known, um, nor is it known as to where exactly they originated from, although they continue to speak a medieval uh, version of Telugu to this day. And the other Brahmin um, diaspora, diaspora communities driven out by Malik Kafur um, are the Velanadus, the Aruvelu, Aruvelu means the 6,000, the Muruvelu, Muruvelu means the 3,000, the Kotas and the Thailangs. And the Thailangs actually migrated northwards towards Mathura and then to Rajasthan. Um, okay, so that was a digression. But another interesting aside um, is that Malik Kafur invaded the Tamil uh, temple towns of uh, Madurai and uh, Kanchipuram and some of his soldiers established a Muslim Sultanate in Madurai and they sent huge amounts of riches to the Delhi Sultan and one of these viceroys was uh, Muhammad bin Tughlaq. Uh, he was the viceroy of Madurai for several years before he ascended to the throne in um, Delhi. But in Madurai, the various viceroys of the uh, fanatical uh, Muslim uh, Sultanate in Madurai, they kept deposing each other and killing each other. And um, interestingly, again, to digress a lot uh, from my original topic of Bibi Nancharyam, uh, the uh, Arab uh, traveler Ibn Battuta, he married the daughter of one of the viceroys of uh, Madurai uh, called Jalaluddin Hassan Khan. And then the Madurai Sultanate lasted only a few decades because uh, the various Muslim generals and viceroys kept deposing each other and killing each other. And then the Madurai Sultanate was uh, conquered by the newly formed uh, Vijayanagaram Kingdom in the 1360s and again to digress a little my mother's family the tatacharya family they were sri vaishnava uh, brahmins in uh, kanchipuram uh, vishnu worshippers and they were invited by the victorious vijayanagaram uh, general uh, kumara kampana uh, kumara kampana was the second son of uh, uh, Emperor Bukaraya, so he invited uh, my mother's family, the Tatacharyas, to join uh, the new Vijayanagaram court in Hampi. Uh, so enough of this digression, let me just return back to Bibi uh, Nanchari Amma. The soldiers of uh, Malik of Food's army uh, had looted numerous temples and they deposited uh, the riches in the treasury of uh, Alauddin Khilji in Delhi. And these included uh, numerous idols of uh, Lord Venkateshwara Balaji from various temples. And after Alauddin Khilji's um, uh, death in 1316 AD, he was uh, succeeded by... Uh, several of his sons but each of these sons kept uh, killing each other and then there were regents who kept killing each other and finally 
uh, another son of Alauddin Khilji called Qutbuddin uh, uh, Mubarak Shah Khilji. He took over after having killed uh, some of his brothers and other relatives. And um, uh, so Bibi Nanchari Amma was one of the daughters of Qutbuddin uh, Mubarak Shah Khilji, and, uh, who was one of the sons of uh, Alauddin Khilji. And uh, numerous accounts and history texts about Bibi Nanchari Amma, they say that she was the daughter of Malik Kafur, and some say she was the daughter of Alauddin Khilji, but these are all wrong. Uh, Malik Kafur was castrated very early in his uh, career, and he, there are no records of his having any children at all. Uh, and uh, because we have the family connections, so uh, it uh, Bibi uh, Nanchari Amma was in fact the daughter of Qutbuddin Mubarak Shah Khilji, who was one of the sons of um, uh, uh, Alauddin Khilji. And then as a young girl, Bibi Nanchari Amma was given uh, one of the idols of Lord Venkateshwara Balaji, uh, to play with as toys and uh, she quickly fell in love uh, with uh, Lord Venkateshwara Balaji and she became obsessed uh, with the idea of marrying him and this became uh, an all-pervading obsession. And Qutbuddin Mubarak Shah Khilji, he had a dream in which Lord Venkateshwara Balaji appeared to him and told him how uh, pleased he was by the devotion of Bibi Nanchari Amma, and he expressed his desire to marry her. And the Sultan very readily agreed uh, uh, and granted his permission to this marriage um, of his daughter. And then at the same time, the head of the Sri Vaishnava Matha in uh, Melkote. Melkote is in present-day Karnataka and one of the key Mathas of the Iyengar communities. So Sri Ramanuja Acharya, who's from my mother's family, uh, so Sri Ramanuja Acharya, he also had a dream which uh, commanded him to go to Delhi to retrieve the idols um, of Lord Venkateshwara Balaji uh, which had been looted by the armies of Malik Kafur, and the dream also uh, told him to bring back Bibi Nanchari Amma and marry her to uh, Lord Venkateshwara Balaji. Uh, this uh, Ramadhoja Acharya was not the founder of the uh, Sri Vaishnava faith, uh, Ramadhoja Acharya, uh, the, the founder was a couple of centuries earlier. Again, there's our family connection. Uh, but this was a descendant of uh, the original Sri Ramanuja Acharya, who had the same name because uh, uh, children are named after their grandfather. So this was a descendant uh, uh, of the same name from my mother's family. And, uh, you know, many of the accounts of the legend of... Uh, Bibi Nancharya must say it was the original uh, Sri Ramanuja Acharya who went to Delhi to meet the Sultan. But, you know, these are all wrong because there's a gap of two centuries. And this was a descendant um, with the same name who was the head of the male Kote uh, Matha. So Sri Ramanuja Acharya, he traveled to Delhi to meet uh, the Sultan. But when he came to Delhi, he found that the Sultan uh, was at Lahore, um, on a military campaign to uh, oust and repel the invading Mongols. So Sri Ramanuja Acharya went to Lahore and uh, there uh, the Sultan Qutbuddin uh, uh, Mubarak Shah Khilji received Ra Sri Ramanuja Acharya with great courtesy and honor and he readily agreed to the marriage of his daughter with Lord Venkateshwara Balaji to be performed um, at Melkote. And the Sultan and Sri Ramanuja Acharya, they traveled uh, back together from Lahore to Delhi, and the Sultan returned to Sri uh, Ramanuja Acharya the numerous um, idols which had been looted from the various temples um, 
in uh, South India. Then, um, you know, on the way from Delhi to Melkote, uh, Bibi Nancharyama, she fell very seriously ill. Uh, they just managed to reach Melkote and the marriage was performed at Melkote by Sri Ramadujacharya and uh, soon after that, Bibi Nancharyama passed away um, and uh, her samadhi is at the Chellapilla Raya temple in Melkote, the Chellapilla Raya temple in Melkote and she is worshipped there together with Lord Venkateshwara Balaji. Then uh, there is also this uh, temple in Sri Rangam, which is the center of this present controversy, the Sri Rangam temple in Tiruchurapalli. Uh, and here, um, uh, Lord uh, Venkateshwara Balaji, he is dressed in the colored uh, lungis, which are typical of the Muslim style of wearing the lungis. And the prasadam here in the, uh, uh, in the temple at uh, Tiruchurapalli, the Sri Rangam temple, is of wheat and uh, ghee parathas, uh, again cooked in the style of the Delhi Muslims, uh, style of parathas. <clears throat> then there are some accounts, you know, which state that the marriage was actually performed at Sri Rangam rather than at Melkote. But I would go with the, uh, uh, with the uh, account that the marriage was performed at Melkote because this is what my mother told me and my mother comes from that family of Sri Ramadoja Acharya and uh, of Melkote. So I would go with the uh, predominant view that the marriage was performed in Melkote rather than at Sri Rangam, but she is worshipped at Sri Rangam. And in fact, the legend at Sri Rangam is that the other consorts of Lord Venkateshwara Balaji, Sri Devi, uh, were very, very jealous of uh, Bibi Nancharyamma. There is also as uh, the idol of Bibi Nancharyamma in uh, Tirumalai and there is a Darga devoted to her in Kadappa and the devotees are first supposed to pray at this uh, Darga in Kadappa before they go to Tirupati and uh, Kutubuddin uh, Mubarak Shah Khilji he was murdered in 1320 AD by one uh, Khusro Khan and Khusro Khan was uh, a Gujarati Hindu who was taken slave uh, and converted to Islam and uh, Khusro Khan was he was a general in uh, Alauddin Khilji's army and he had defeated the Kakatiyas in Warangal in uh, 1318 uh, AD but uh, within a few days of uh, 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 a short while of his murdering Kutubuddin uh, Mubarak Shah Khilji, Khusro Khan was captured by the governor of uh, Dipalpur, uh, Ghazi Malik, and he was beheaded at Hozkhaz um, in Delhi in September 1320 AD. And after that, the Tughlaqs uh, seized power in Delhi. They built Tughlaqabad and Giyasuddin Tughlaq and Muhammad bin Tughlaq and Firoz Shah Tughlaq uh, established the Tughlaq uh, dynasty in uh, Delhi. Um, yeah. So please subscribe to my YouTube uh, channels and my IGTV channels and please follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. My Twitter account is at uh, RV at rvp is my twitter account so on my youtube channel i will be uploading several more videos about my opinions on politics the economy business uh, and industry and about technology so please subscribe to my youtube and igtv channels this is ravi vishweshwaraya sharada prasad Saying goodbye, have a great day.